Hey, I'm Bill, and uh, we're going to show you how to make some glacier goo today, otherwise known as ooze balls uh, or slime, all sorts of different names. By it. But all you need is, um, is uh, some Elmer's glue. We're going to show you big batches using a gallon. Uh, you need some borax from the store, um, and then just some stuff. We'll show you how it goes. Uh, if you're in a lab, you can use glassware to measure, or else if you're at home, you can just use some things like measuring cups. So the first thing you need to do is uh, we're going to make a big one with 1,200 milliliters of glue. So to measure out 1,200 milliliters of glue is tough, so we just took some colored water and uh, put 1,200 milliliters of colored water into a 2-liter bottle. Uh, and then we're going to use that to measure the glue. Uh, we've got an empty two liter bottle here and we're just going to start to fill that uh, with glue until it gets up to the same height and then we'll know we got 1200 milliliters. So uh, this will take a while. We'll see you in a little bit. Alright, now we're going to um, take our 1200 milliliters of glue and uh, put it in a bucket. Excuse me. And uh, we'll let that train there for a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to add to that 900 milliliters of water. So it's 1,200 milliliters of glue, 900 milliliters of water. Again, I'm just using my fancy uh, kitchen measuring device here. And uh, there's 500. And 400. So now in our bucket we got uh, 1,200 milliliters of glue, 900 milliliters of water, and then you just got to stir that baby up. So you stick your hand in there, don't be bashful. Mm. You want to look inside? Oh, that's nice. Mm. You want to make sure all the glue gets uh, mixed up with the water so it's a nice even consistency. Uh, this is the point where if you want to add food coloring, you want to add food coloring right now and mix it all up. Uh, we're just going to make white stuff right now. But again, uh, don't add too much food coloring because it's going to stain everything if you add too much. So just a couple drops of food coloring if you want it colored instead of white. Uh, all right, we'll be back with step three in a second. One of the ingredients of the Glacier Grew is borax, but it's not just a powder that you get from the store. You want to make a saturated solution of the borax. So what um, what I do is I just find an old gallon jug that I got sitting around and dump a bunch of, uh, well that's not good, but just dump a bunch of borax in there down the funnel, get it into the bottom. And I just keep adding until there's like an inch of borax sitting on the bottom. And then I just fill the rest of it up with uh, water. And the idea is some of the borax dissolves in the water, but you should have enough borax in there that some of it is still left undissolved on the bottom. That's how you know you've got a saturated solution. And then you just cap it up, which I've lost my cap, shake it up a little bit. And I would just leave it sit, come back every once in a while, every few hours, give it another shake. And uh, in the morning, when you go to use it, uh, the borax should be settled on the bottom and the top, the saturated water, should be really nice and clear, crystal clear. Here's some that we've had sitting overnight, um, and look at how nice and clear the water is that comes off the top. It looks like plain water, but it's actually got borax dissolved in it, and that's your saturated borax solution. All right, next up we're going to cross-link the glue water mixture, and um, the glue is actually long chains of molecules. Uh, we're going to use the borax as a cross-linker. Um, again, uh, we just made a saturated solution uh, like we showed you. We just uh, put water in here, dumped a whole bunch of borax, and here's our saturated borax water. Now you can see the borax sitting on the bottom. And what comes off is really nice and clear now. It's been sitting overnight. Uh, so we're just going to add that, and if you watch, as we add it in here, uh, you can actually see it. I just dribble it nice and slow, nice and slow, and it starts to cross-link that stuff up into a gooey, slimy, disgusting mess. 
that's nice. So we're going to add about 600, 700 milliliters of borax, somewhere in that range. Uh, we'll get some more. That was about 300. The official amount on the recipe is uh, 660 milliliters. But again, this one, you have to just keep adding it until you don't see any glue that's not cross-linked. So we're going to start at 660 milliliters, and we're going to mix it for a little bit and just see how See, I, When I look at that, I can still see a lot of glue that's not cross-linked. In other words, by not cross-linked, I mean it still is like glue. So I'm just going to take and add just like a little splash, kind of like Grandma's cooking. Just one more little splash of this, a little splash of that. And there now it's starting to get a little better. It's been stirring it for a couple minutes, and uh, it's actually gotten really nice in there. Now you can see it's all kind of cross-linked together. I hardly have any glue left, and it's actually pretty dry, and that's a really nice recipe. But anyway, what I like to do at the end is uh, just dump it out on something uh, that's not going to stick, like a table or something. And uh, if there is any extra water on there, you don't want to use paper towels, but if you have just an old towel, you just take it and kind of dab it off kind of like a newborn baby and there you go and uh, anything that's extra water will just come off on the towel and that's it <laughs> yeah a, a pretty nice size uh glacier goo or ooze ball ready to go and if you look it, it it doesn't stick to your hands it flows really nicely it doesn't stick to things it will stick to like clothes and your carpet and stuff so you want to make sure the kids keep it off that um, yeah, that's that's one batch. So again, we used 1,200 milliliters of glue, uh, 900 milliliters of water mixed in, stirred it all up, then added about six or 700 milliliters of saturated borax water, stirred it, stirred it, patted it dry. Time for science. <laughs>